Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In our last video, we were working on the STI and we swapped out our mid pipe from a Subi Depot mid pipe to a Remark mid pipe. Basically, for the most part, they were the same, just the Remark was a non-res and I just found the fitment was a little bit better and I just really wanted it. So we swapped it out. The car sounds gnarly. It sounds nuts. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm just overall a lot more happier with that mid pipe. But I still have my old one right here and I need to get rid of it. I'm moving soon and I just need to clean this thing up and get rid of it. Myself, like I'm sure a lot of other people have experienced driving, you know, down the road and they see some plastic in the middle of the road, try to avoid it or they don't avoid it in time and you don't see the plastic behind you after you pass. So that happened to me. I ran over some plastic. I thought I was in the clear. I couldn't tell because there was a car behind me. Got to work the next day and a coworker was like, hey dude, you got plastic hanging off of your exhaust. And I knew right away, I was like, oh man. And it wasn't even like a thin plastic, it was a very thick plastic, kind of like the thick plastic you see that's around like cardboard boxes of pop. I don't know, it's like, it's like when it's a cardboard tray and there's plastic all around it. It was that type of thick plastic. And I'm hoping I get this off. I'm hoping to achieve it with a little bit of easy off. Everyone I've seen that does this uses is like the, the spray can. Uh, so hopefully it's the same stuff and then a piece of wood just to kind of scrape the thing see it's pretty nasty it looks like freddy cougar's face or something like it's it's pretty brutal uh it happened mainly on here and then something here i don't know if this was just oil i, I really don't know what that is uh, but hopefully i can get this off as well uh, and just give this thing overall a really good cleaning and this thing is like basically brand new there's 3800 kilometers on it it really sucks that that happened but hopefully we can get it off so I guess just to start knocking this stuff out. I'm gonna go ahead, spray the exhaust with some of that easy off stuff. I've never used it, so I don't know. It might work, might not. One way to find out, I guess. So as you can see, this section of the mid pipe cleaned up pretty well. There's a little bit of leftover residue right there. I'm not really too worried about that, but this one on the other hand, it is not coming off. I sat here for probably, I don't know, half an hour, maybe a little longer trying to scrape this off. And now I did clean up this section here, but I don't really think the easy off is really helping us there. I think it's only gonna really help for stuff like that. I can't really blame Easy Off for not really getting this off because it is really thick plastic. Like this is some serious thick stuff. Like it, it just, it ain't coming off. So I was thinking, okay, well, what if we burn it off? So I was like, okay, let's try the, some brake clean in a, <laughs> in a lighter. And that worked a little bit. It was melting just, you know, a little bit. But the thing is, as soon as the brake cleaner burned away, it, it, it stopped. Um, so I think I'm gonna go out and get a propane torch, just trying to melt all this away. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the metal too much by doing that, but I don't really see another way of getting this off. In all honesty, I, I'll probably be here for hours trying to scrape it. Um, also the wood did really nothing for me. I ended up switching over to like a little plastic uh, razor and that helped, but I'll be back when I got a propane torch. Uh, let me just quickly rinse all this stuff off, especially this, just get the dust off and the cobwebs just so I can get it sold in out of here. Alright guys, it is the next day. I went ahead, bought myself a butane torch. Uh, let's go ahead, bust this open, and see if we can get the plastic off this way.
Well guys, I've been going at it for a while. As you can see, I've been kind of changing the color of it, but I'm honestly not worried about that. Kind of looks all right, in my opinion, with the color, but whatever, I'm sure once you start cleaning it, the color's gonna come off anyway, so I'm not really concerned about it. See over here, like it looks pretty good. Uh, this almost becomes kind of like ashy, and it can normally just scrape off, which is perfect. Uh, but over here, I found just using like the towel, kind of wiped it in and kind of destroyed the progress I made. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is apply some more easy off and kind of just let it do its thing for a while uh, You can see over there. It's pretty rough uh, But this side, you know, same thing Same thing It's annoying. It is what it is uh, See, so yeah, I think we're gonna let it soak and easy off for a bit and come back to it Well guys, I had dinner got excited came back and I ended up just scraping a lot of it off with this little plastic scraper uh, as you can see, it looks a lot better already. Uh, this one is basically like as good as new. Uh, I'm gonna hit it one more time. There's a couple spots like right here, those black spots. Just, you know, make sure everything is good. There's a little tiny spot right there. So I'm gonna go through again, just a little bit on there. This one I'm gonna cake again, uh, but it is coming off very slowly. It seems like this stuff works great when you just don't have a lot of plastic on there. For our case, we had a bunch, like look at that. That is a lot of plastic that came off. Like that's my thumb for reference. So just to give you an idea, you know, we had a lot on here. I also probably had like worst case scenario because I feel like if you're lucky and either way it's not lucky, but if you just got like a simple plastic bag, it probably would be really easy and you could just use easy off to get this off. But I had a really thick plastic. It was a type of plastic you would find around like uh, one of those big cases of pops where like it's a cardboard carton on the bottom and then the plastic kind of just holds it all together. It's that thick plastic. The one you gotta shove your finger in and rip it apart. But it is slowly coming off bit by bit. It is making its way off. So I'm happy about that. It's just the sooner it's off the better. So I'm gonna go ahead, spray this down again. Let's see how we do when we come back. Well, burning it definitely seems to be the way to clean it up. I got it pretty close. There's a little bit down there, but it might come off. The only, I guess, side effect of doing the torch method is you do end up discoloring the stainless steel, but you could get rid of it just by simply polishing it. Uh, I'm honestly not too worried about it. I'm just gonna clean it up. And if, if the new owner decides to clean it, they can. But to be honest, you're never gonna see it. I'd rather a little bit of discoloring than a bunch of plastic on it anyways. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, wash these up, and see how it looks. If it's not too bad, I'm gonna leave it. Otherwise, we'll bring out the torch again. Well, after giving it a wash, it definitely cleaned up a lot better than what it was. Uh, I'm going to have to torch this area a little bit just to kind of get some more of that gone. Uh, but the other side is, is pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this side. You know, a little there, but overall really not bad compared to what it was. I think it turned out a lot better. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to bother recording it. I'm just going to keep torching this thing until she looks as good as new. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, post it on Kijiji, get it out of here. Cause I don't need it no more. We got a new one on the STI, which honestly is so much more rowdy than this. I was shocked. I did not expect it to be so much more rowdier, but it definitely is over this thing. It's amazing what a resonator does to this. It's crazy. On that note, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and take it easy guys.